Volkswagen IDR sets new electric Nürburgring lap record. Whenever an automaker sets a new record, the world takes notice. And today is one of those days. The Volkswagen IDR set a new electric lap record at the Nürburgring. I enjoy a lot today. It was a lot of fun. A uh, lot of downforce on the car. Very happy to drive alone on this nice track, you know, and pushing yourself to a limit is always cool. And uh, thanks to the team again, Volkswagen Motorsport. Like last year, I think a perfect car today. The IDR smashed the previous record time set by the Neo EP9 in 2017 by 40 seconds. Romain Dumas, a race car driver and a Porsche factory driver, set the lap record in the IDR after setting the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb record last year using the same car. An electric power pack on four wheels. That's the Volkswagen IDR, currently the fastest electric race car in existence. The energy it needs is stored by large battery blocks installed next to and behind the driver. Hidden under the IDR's rear cover is the connector used for recharging the lithium-ion battery in a very short time. We charge at about 90 kilowatts. Charging takes between 20 and 30 minutes. Charging the battery cells quickly is important to get the IDR back on the track as fast as possible. After each lap, the Volkswagen Motorsport engineers hook the car up to the charging station. These are specially insulated high voltage cables, certified for the specific range of power we're using here. We use up to a thousand volts of electricity. In addition, the cables are shielded to avoid electromagnetic interference with the onboard electric system. Electromagnetic radiation could interfere with the IDR's complex technology. This summer, driver Romain Dumas will attempt to break the record for electric cars on the world's most challenging racetrack, the Nordschleife of the Nürburgring. Only if the batteries can be charged quickly and completely will the car's two electric motors be able to unleash their full power of 500 kilowatts or 680 horsepower. The cells have a temperature limit. If we started driving at an excessive temperature, we would reach the maximum cell limit too soon. The ideal base temperature of the battery is 30 degrees Celsius. At this level, the energy in the battery is used at the optimum rate. For that reason, while charging, the IDR is connected to a cooling system. In cooperation with the simulation software developer ANSYS, the Volkswagen Motorsport team analyzes the battery's behavior at the Nürburgring. The correct temperature window is a key factor for the car's performance. The system is cooled by air. A liquid cooling system was ruled out due to the added weight. Essentially, we're trying to find ways to improve cooling performance. On the right, you can see how the air actually flows through the battery housing. This lets us know if there's any way we can optimize the system so that cooling performance can go up. The findings of this process with the IDR will also benefit the development of the ID family. The first model of these fully electric production cars will celebrate its world premiere this year. All of the experience we're gathering here with the simulation of batteries, battery cells and entire battery systems is very interesting to a lot of people. We profit from experiences made with production cars and conversely, they benefit from the things we do. With the ideal charging strategy and full electric power, the IDR and its driver, Romain Dumas, will start the record attempt at the Nordschleife as the prototype of a new generation.